It's a sculpture from Mongolia dating from the late 17th, early 18th century from the school of Zanabazar. Zanabazar, on top of being a great artist, was head of the church, head of the state, he built bridges, so a really Renaissance man. People consider him like the Michelangelo of, uh, and the Leonardo combine of Asia. And he went to Tibet as a young man and, and sort of fell in love with all the style that he saw in the Tibetan monastery. Tibet is a repository of bronzes from all over Asia. And in particular, he was uh, um, enamored with uh, Nepalese bronzes of the 12th, 13th century. When he went back to Mongolia, he decided to recreate or his own style, create his own style inspired by what he had seen, but with his own particular uh, transformation of the style. Uh, it's a wonderful subject that to the union of male and female in Tibetan Buddhism means the union of wisdom and compassion. And so what you see in this is a real, uh, one of the highlights of Buddhist art uh, from Asia, very, very special, that so much that the uh, Kanshi Emperor invited Zana Bazaar to go to the court of Beijing and start an atelier in, in Beijing.